right, so we're working on doing a reggae beat and uh, trying to strum this. So again, we're trying to think of it as one and two and three and four and. So the downward, downward stroke of your strum is always on a number, one, two, three, or four, and the upstroke is on the and. So you have one and, two and, three and, four and. But in reggae, we don't hear the one, two, three, or four. Right? What they often do will accent it, so it's this muted sound of and then on the way up, they hit the chord. Right? The trick is learning how to mute out the, the chord, right? And and that's where a lot of guitar players have their problems, is trying to figure out how do you mute out chords, right? So often what I'll do is I'm gonna use a G chord as an example. I release the pressure off the strings, right? So I'm touching the strings, but I'm not pushing down. I'm just touching them. Right? And with my right hand, I'm actually sitting across the string. So when I strum with no pressure on the chord and my hands on the strings, I get that nice dead sound. On the way up, right, because that's their one, on the way up, I push down with my left hand and I release off the guitar, off the strings with my right hand. Right, so dead and then on the way up, right, dead, Dead. That's what works for me, right? Is going down like that, no pressure, hand on strings, right? And then on the way up, push down and get that strum. on this with absolutely any chord. Or here's your A chord, which we're going to need for uh, the Bob Marley song, right? Pressure off. All right. See what you can do with it.